What's up y'all? In this video, we are exploring if this is the best 55 plus community in all of Charleston. We're gonna base it on location. We're gonna base it on how much you pay each month for the amenities in that and home prices. And also they have new construction and new incentives. So we're gonna look into some of that. It's right behind me right here. I'm in Cane Bay. Come with me, let's check it out. What's up y'all, this is Dave Broom, licensed realtor in the Charleston, South Carolina and surrounding areas. If this is your first time to my channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about living, working, exploring, eating, chilling, and definitely playing in Charleston, South Carolina and the surrounding areas, then tap that subscribe button, hit the bell, also like the video, um, that helps my channel grow and that, that'd be great. Um, today we are going to the Four Seasons, which is in Cane Bay, and we're gonna explore if this is the best 55 plus community um, in all of Charleston. Um, I actually live right around the corner so I could drive my golf cart, which is, a, is an added perk to doing these videos real close to my home. Um, also stick around to the end of this video because I have a little juicy nugget, especially if you are selling your house in another state, you're looking to come down here to retire and you haven't found a realtor in your state yet, stick around. I have a little juicy nugget that might help you sell your house faster and stick around. Uh, but come with me. Let's go check out the Four Seasons together. We're going to walk some of the models and check out where they're building right over here. They're doing a lot of new construction. There's also pre-owned. So come with me. Let's go check it out. All right, here's a quick shot of the lake house, they call it. It's got the clubhouse, the ballroom, amphitheater, high cotton lawn. And then to the left over here, you have a tennis and pickleball court, high tail dog park, bocce ball court, boat and kayak launch. To the right, you have an outdoor pool, cabana and pavilion and fitness and movement center. I'll just get a quick shot. Um, I don't like to get people in the shots, so I just do it from afar here, but really, really, really gorgeous clubhouse here. You can just see a lot of stuff is included here. Um, they take care of your lawn as well. A lot of incentives to um, live in here, and they, it's also pretty cheap compared to other 55 plus communities. I'll be talking about that. I'll also put that in the description, how much it is per month, but just look, look at this clubhouse. There's Really, really nice setup. You can see the beautiful scenery around here. Just a gorgeous scene right here. I also do a lot of um, Zoom and private tours in that. So if that's something you're interested in. Um, I So my team and I, um, to be honest with you, my team and I are getting calls, texts, emails every single day with people who are looking to move down here to the Charleston, South Carolina area and surrounding areas. And I do a lot of Zoom calls, a lot of um, FaceTime with them because I'm I've been in your shoes. I've been in another state and looking to move. And my realtor did a really good job um, showing me around, get letting me get visuals before we came down to visit it. So if that's you, you want to just check it out around here. You want to get a sense of the area a little bit. Feel free to uh, shoot me a text. You can text me right now. We could set up a quick call and I can show you all around. If the Four Seasons is something you're looking into. Feel free to shoot me a text. I'll, I live right around the corner. It's easy for me to come over here and just give you a sense of living in this 55 plus community. So feel free. All right, we're down the model alley here. We're gonna start and walk through some of these models and I'm gonna show you where they're, I'll show you a couple of lakes in that and then I'll show you where they are also, where the home sites are, really nice home sites that they are building at the moment. Uh, this first one here is the Athens. Um, two bedrooms, two baths, it has a two car garage. It's about 1,300 square feet, and the base price is 435,000. So let's go check this one out. So that's the starting base price is 435,000. All right, as you first come in here, you, you can definitely see the floor. Really nice flooring here. Nice decorations in that. Don't mind me in the mirror. There's a guest bedroom right around the corner here. Nice shiplap all over the walls here. A little closet over there. Here's the guest bedroom or the guest bathroom right here. Nice full bath, tiled shower. Pretty nice size. All right, as we continue, the garage is to the left here. A little closet to the right here. And then as you come in, nice open area. You got a dining area to the left. You have the kitchen, nice backsplash, nice countertops here. I always like that corner cabinet up top with the glass. But you could just see how open it is in here. Nice open living space. It's it's 
1300 ish square feet, but it feels like more because there's no walls constricting here and it's kind of wide open. Nice view out the back here. This is a covered porch area in the back. You can see, I'm gonna get a better angle over here. Real open in here, nice living space. And swing back around, I'll show you the covered porch here. Nice fans up top. This goes like the whole length of the house here. So if we go out here, it can be easily screened in. Would be a really nice porch area to hang out. Okay, coming back in, we'll go over here. This is a one level house too, which is extremely nice. Coming over here, the master, nice giant master here. That's a king size bed, plenty of room on both sides. Nice view out the back, right to the porch area there. Plenty of space in here. They even put a chair because there's so much space. Coming through here, you got the double sinks in the bathroom. Nice big shower area with the seated bench there, tile throughout. You got the toilet closet there, walk in closet here, and another little linen closet here. But plenty of space in this one. They use the space really, really nice in here. So this was the Athens. Two bedrooms, two bath, a little over 1,300 square feet, and base price of 435. All right, next up is the Donegal with a loft. It's three to four bedrooms. It's got two bathrooms, two car garage, 2,337 square feet, and the base price is 505,000. So let's go check this one out. This once again was the Donegal with the loft. All right, it's a little dark when we first come in here. They have a little different lighting here, but as you first come in, Turn right, right away. You have the guest bedroom right to the right. I always love this shiplap all over the wall here. Nice size room, nice view, closet there. And the full bathroom again, the full guest bathroom right away. That's, a, that's to the garage, or no, that is a closet right there. This is, a nice office with the double doors here. Real nice size office, cool kitty corner here. It's a very cool setup. Coming over here. Nice open floor plan again. Here is the living room area. And the kitchen area into the living room area. Okay, living room over here and the dining room over there. So here's the kitchen, living room, dining room, all open in here. Really nice use of space. Again, when it's open like this, there's no walls constricting. It's a nice use of space. It's a little mud room here going out to the garage. You can also has the laundry here. Garage there, a closet over here. Nice, nice setup here. There's the food pantry behind me. This one also has the covered patio. I'll, I'll walk through the living room here. It's got the covered back porch that can easily be screened in. Little sitting area here, really nice open. I like how open it is, open floor plan, not constricting with walls and it's very good use of this square footage here. Here's the large master. Here's a master bathroom here with the double sinks. It's cool brown tile here, tiled shower. You have the toilet closet. You have the linen closet across and then you have the walk-in closet here as well again. Nice view out the back here. upstairs. So again, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to comment on this video or shoot me a text. I'm pretty responsive with texting. 
Okay, here's the loft area up top, really nice area up top here. Full bathroom over here. That's the HVAC unit. And in here is the guest bedroom here. Real nice loft area. This is the Donegal loft again. 2,337 square feet, three to four bedrooms, depending on what um, you pick. And base price of 505,000. All right, I do have a different video on my channel of the Four Seasons, but I chose to do this new one because they are not including all the houses in the building. Um, they phased out a couple of the houses. So everything in this video, um, they are still building at the time of making this video. I just wanted to update you and show you the new, um, what they are building. And also we can look at the um, plots and that and where they're located. It's a really cool area right on the lake over here. I'll, I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Next up is the Ibiza. Uh, this one ha can be two to three bedrooms, three bathrooms, three bathrooms, a two car garage, uh, 2,000 square feet and base price is 489,000. Let's go check this one out. All right, as you first come in here, this one, that's just a little closet room or a walk room right in there. It's got the HVAC unit. To the right here, the guest bedroom. Full bathroom again. Couple closets. Nice open floor plan again. This one has the office right to the right here with the glass doors. Living room area, dining. This has two dining areas. This one here and over in the corner over there. Then a kitchen area here. This is the mud room and laundry room here. It's got a sunroom or a back patio. That could be turned into a sunroom, but it's back enclosed patio here. Then the master. Nice big room again. I'll back out. Here's a nice view. Nice bigger shower in this one. Tiled shower, it still has the bench there. Double sinks. Closet to the right, toilet closet to the left, and walk-in closet in the back. This one was about 2,000 square feet, like I said. So 2,000 square feet, base price is 489,000, and this was the Ibiza, I'll show you it again right here. Nice and open, just like the other one. No walls constricting. This has the this area here that could be turned into a sunroom. And it has a little concrete pad out back. All right, next up is the Marsal with the loft. This one is three to four bedrooms, three bathrooms, two car garage. Uh, 2,959 square feet. And the base price is 533,000. Cool setup. It's got the L shape to it. Go check it out. All right, as you first come in, it's got this one. It's got the really nice office in here. Gigantic office with the nice doors with the with the glass here. This has the cool wallpaper over here. No, that's actual brick. Got a giant office space here. Glass doors. And then this is to the left as you first walk in. This has the laundry out to the garage here. This has the full bathroom right here, a little tucked away, a little more privacy even. An even bigger guest bedroom here with a nice big closet. Back down the hall. Closet to the left here. Really nice kitchen area. Like the colors, like the lighting. Food pantry tucked away in the corner. It's got the living room area. Carolina room. 
dining area here. Give you a better shot at the Carolina room over here or sunroom area. There's a couple different words for it, but it's cool space, hangout space, especially with that view. Give you a shot of the porch over here. That could be screened in again. Everything flows open again. All right, here's a huge master here, even bigger. Give you a shot from the corner here. The video is not even doing justice how big it is. Nice view out the back there. This one's got the tub and the shower. A little longer double sinks here. Toilet closet here. There's another shot of the shower. And then the walk-in closet here. All right, and then we'll head up the stairs. Right up the stairs, you got the loft area right away. Big closet over there. Nice room here. There is no closet in that room, but it's a pretty big room. You can use that closet. Bathroom. And another closet. That was actually the HVAC out there. That wasn't a closet, but there's another room. This one's got a big closet. You could use this closet. Really, really nice house. All right, so this one was the Marcel with the loft. Uh, almost 3,000 square feet, three to four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and base price 533. Really like the office, that's a big feature in here. All right, next up is the Mont Blanc. Two to three bedrooms, three bathrooms, three car garage, uh, 2,444 square feet, and base price 516. This one doesn't show the three car garage, but it does have it when it gets built. All right, as you first come in, the guest bedroom over here. And the bathroom right attached to it, which is nice. Makes it like an official guest bedroom here. Office to the right. half bath. This one's got the little control center to the right here. Swing around. You have the dining, two dining areas, the living room and the kitchen here. Nice long open space here. Another shot. The patio area out back. I'll show you that in a second. This one's got the mud room and laundry. Got laundry there, really nice laundry room here. And a closet in the laundry room. Got the farmhouse sink. I didn't even, I walked right past there. There's a farmhouse sink. The other dining area, living room. This is more of the formal dining area. It's got a little patio area with an extra concrete pad out back. And then the master. This one's cool because it has the door right out to the patio area too. Swing around and show you how big it is in here. 
Then this one has the fancier shower. Really cool shower right here. Double sinks. Toilet closet. Closet to the left here and then giant walk-in closet. Once again, this was the Mont Blanc. Two to three bedrooms, three bathrooms, three car garage, 2,444 square feet. Base price of 516. All right, the Killarney is closed. They're redoing all the carpets and that in that one. Um, if you do want more information on the Killarney, feel free to reach out to me. But we're moving on to the Lewis. Uh, the Lewis is two, let me get around this tree. Lewis is two to four bedrooms, three bathrooms, two car garage, about 2,500 square feet, and base price of 509. The L shape again. This one's got the garage open, so you can get a little view of the garage here. Don't mind those doors, those are just extra doors, but this is, you pull in and you turn to the right. Nice little patio area here. Let's go check it out. All right, as you first come in, there's a formal dining right to the left here. And then to the right, you have the laundry room area here, right to the garage. Half bath behind me. You got an office that could be used as a bedroom here. It's being used as an office. So there's basically two bedrooms here on both sides and then a full bath in the middle, which is a nice feature to have right here. It's kind of tucked away from the rest of the house too. This one's got the control center type place here again. Living room area. Kitchen. Dining area. This one's got the bigger patio area here. I'll swing around here because it's got like the butler's pantry here into the dining area. I'll go over here and then I'll go out back. Nice food closet here. They left it, somebody left the TV on. And then a real nice, part of it's covered, nice patio area. You can get that screen in as well. Nice view of the lake over there. That's where they're building the new ones right across the lake over there. We'll go check that out in a, in a few minutes. And also stick around to the end, like I said, especially if you are selling your house in another state and you haven't gotten a realtor yet, stick around. The master. This one's got the double closets, closet on each side. And then the bathroom, there's a bunch of different ways you can arrange this bathroom. Double sinks. This one's got the double sinks, the shower and the tub. There's also other ways to arrange it. I'm gonna step out here and show you the view here. This is the gorgeous lake here. It'll give you a shot of the tennis pickleball area this is the dock over here as well where you can you can bring a boat that doesn't have a motor in here there's a shot of the pool over there a lot of nice new homes going in that's the bridge across over there but we'll go over and check out some of the lots in a minute just look at that view though take it in look at the sky all right here's another shot of the lake Cool area. The bridges in here are really cool too. But you could see the this lake is gorgeous, especially if you want to get a water lot in that little scenery in here. Definitely a hidden gem up here in the back of Cane Bay. Alright, so the new homes are being built over this bridge here. And this is a little shot of the, the water on both sides. just serene and kind of peaceful back here cool bridge too 
But we'll go down and check out the last. This is just showing you a little bit of the water down in here. I will be honest, be careful when you're by the water. There is gators down in here. They, we saw a baby one in here actually about two weeks ago. So just anticipate them being in there. Not that they're in every single body of water, but there could be. So be careful when you're around the water. But let's go check out these lots. And as you can see, they're building here. Also, if you don't have a water lot in between your homes, they have bergs in the back, which kind of give you a little bit more privacy. They're, they're like a bigger hill that they bring in. But there is some being built on both sides here. There's water lots, there's berg lots. They're building like crazy in here. Nice community to get into while they're still building new construction. You can give incentives. They take, um, it depends on when you, when you want to look, but they do have incentives where they take money off. They'll give you a little better financing sometimes. Homes going in on both sides here, as you can see. There's still homes. If you're, if you're looking, it's this one. These ones over here, back up to the golf cart trail, which is kind of cool. And then I'll take you down this one. A lot of building going on down in here. All the different models that we just saw. This is a nice hidden gem community of 275 a month for the HOA is reasonable too for a 55 plus community because they take care of so much stuff for you and you get access to the ballroom, the huge amenity center, the pool, the lakes, a lot of stuff in here that you get access to and they take care of a lot of stuff for you too. But there's a lot of building going on. All right, so this is coming to the end of the video. I got a hidden gem for you. If you have not sold your house yet, you're looking to sell your house in a different state, um, you're looking for a realtor. My team and I have realtors all over the country that we team with, and I only team up with realtors that I can trust. So I'm not gonna refer you to somebody that I can't trust, but I, I want somebody that I can trust. So if, I, if you reach out, I can refer you to an agent in your area, wherever you're moving from, we have agents in every single state. So I'm, I don't wanna look bad. I, I want you to find an agent that does the job for you and sells your home effectively. So feel free to reach out and I can um, refer you to a great agent that is gonna do a great job for you. And reach out if you're looking, if you wanna look at this community as well and check this community out and see what it has to offer. This, in a lot of people's opinion, is the best 55 plus community in all of Charleston. Just for what you get for the price, the hidden gem location, the golf cart trails, everything that has to offer, feel free to reach out. You can give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'd love to have just a quick conversation with you. Get your, get where you're coming from, get your story, put myself in your shoes and really, really, really help you. So you can text the number on the screen. You can give me a call. You can also email me. My email is in the description. I would love to have a conversation with you and see if I can help you out and see if we're a good fit. Keep it real, y'all.